Science is equal parts creation and discovery. Recent advances in neuroscience have shown that our brain is and always has been a dynamic organ, constantly changing as we move through life. The brain of every human changes itself through neuroplasticity. Scientists have now uncovered ways to harness this powerful ability to achieve radical transformation in the lives of people everywhere. Join us as we explore the incredible promise and how scientists, technologists, psychologists, and medical doctors are creating solutions and changing people's lives in previously unimaginable ways. Science is poised to change the way we learn, the way we age, and the way we heal on the cutting edge of brain fitness frontiers. We were talking about memory and down the road were coming these little scooters with little plexiglass fronts with a map. And uh, these are guys who are training to get their taxi cab license. But when you're on the knowledge of London, the way you study the streets of London is you physically go out on your moped following a set route. And then you have to learn that set route. You have to commit that set route to memory. And suddenly, click. My God, visuospatial memory. These guys have to remember things in space, relations in space. So there's this guy who was one day found wandering along the side of the highway and the uh, state policeman who picked him up asked him his name and he gave his name and said that he was stationed at a nearby army base and gave his age as 22 years old. And I don't know if the officer realized it or not, but he must have appeared at least a decade older than that because he was. And he didn't live at this army base anymore, although he had, he had been stationed there when he was about 22. And it turns out that he had just lost all of the memories of the last 11 years, gone. We have been studying chronic pain patients and we have asked the question whether a patient can learn to control the areas of their brain that produce pain and the areas of their brain that turn off pain and thereby whether they can learn to control their pain experience itself. Four years ago, I had viral meningitis and encephalitis. I was in a coma for 10 days, I almost died and um, I was in the hospital for a month and then came home and learned how to do everything all over again. My brain, it felt like the, the brain was firing. It was like the more you, the more you work the brain, the more, the more it, it, it heals itself in a way. The brain will learn how to transform itself to better control that small number of neurons that we're requiring to perform all these complicated functions. This will be essential when controlling something as complicated as a robotic arm, for example, that has all kinds of motions possible. What can you really do? Can you learn to control these complicated functions uh, by changing your brain? The brain is, is not just a single homogeneous uh, system. It's got many circuit elements, many neurons that project from one part to another and are wired in a very complicated way. And what's important to realize is that we have to find ways to modulate one circuit in the brain, uh, the one that's having trouble, without altering the other parts of the brain that are normal. We and many other groups have started to be very interested in, in neuromodulation therapies, the use of light to turn cells in the brain on and off. When you develop PTSD from an extreme experience in combat, the brain does change in some way. We had the idea that perhaps uh, there might be uh, some folks coming back from the war in, in Iraq and Afghanistan that would be suffering from some of the symptoms of PTSD, much like the Vietnam era vets had gone through. And we thought about the idea of developing a treatment in virtual reality, whereby you put a person back in the scenes in VR of the traumatic events that occurred to them, but in a very graduated way, and help them to process their emotional memories. The pioneers on the frontiers of brain fitness are constantly forging forward, using new technology and new science to push the bounds of what was once seemingly impossible. 